it's 40,000 man hours to build one of these things. And so building it inside a year is actually quite tough. You know, the people that work on these boats, they are artists. The boat builders are artists. My imagination is, is Alex stepping on this boat, which has the, the kind of the look that it has now, kind of puts him in a, a certain mode, a kind of competitive mode, concentration. It's also about precision, performance, um, and that's what we wanted to achieve. Constantine brings a completely different angle. You know, our, our guys, our designers, our naval architects, they're just focused on making the boat go faster, 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 faster. That's what they want. Whereas uh, Constantine's come in and helped us understand how to make it more usable. I love the most is the, uh, is the honeycomb deck. The honeycomb core you never see but we know that it is there and, and we've kind of, we're exposing it on the deck. It's gonna look incredible. No one's ever done it before. I think one of the most challenging things uh, with Constantine was Constantine wanted a black boat. An entirely black boat is difficult because the sun heats up the black and, and actually it can alter the, the construction, the strength, the structure of the boat itself. And so we had to develop a black paint that could reflect sunlight in the same way that white could. It's a race machine, it's a kind of Formula One class of a boat and I would say it's, it's quite a beast, it's, it's aggressive. Each detail must be perfect. When I sell one of these things in a round the world race, if there's one tiny technical detail, the best case is I become uncompetitive and the worst case is I could lose my life. There's a clear goal uh, to to achieve something you know, exceptional and, and kind of making the best.